Suspect with ISIS flag drives van at crowd, Canada police. A suspect who allegedly attacked a police officer with a knife and later drove a U-Haul truck into pedestrians in Edmonton, Alberta, is being investigated for acts of terrorism, police in the Canadian city said earlier early Sunday. The 30-year-old man was detained after a high-speed chase through streets filled with Saturday night revelers and local football fans. Edmonton Police Chief Rod Neekt told reporters that the suspect was in custody and they think he acted alone, but they aren't ruling out that others were involved. An apparent ISIS flag was seized from the passenger seat of the truck, he confirmed. We believe the individual acted alone, Neekt said. He confirmed that an ISIS flag was seized from the vehicle initially connected with the attack on the police officer. The chaos began outside the Edmonton Eskimos football game at Commonwealth Stadium at 8 p.m. local time, 10 p.m. ET Saturday, when police say a vehicle rammed a traffic control barricade and, and sent an officer flying into the air. Neekt says the driver of the vehicle then got out and viciously stabbed the officer several times with a knife before fleeing. The officer was taken to hospital and treated for non-life-threatening injuries. At around midnight, a U-Haul van was stopped at an impaired driving stop north of downtown and the driver sped off with police in pursuit, Neekt said. After hitting and wounded four pedestrians, the U the U-Haul hit and injured four pedestrians before it flipped over. Their condition was not immediately known. Neekt said the apparent ISIS flag would be part of the investigation, adding that there had been no prior warning of the specific attack. Zo Todd at Zoe H. Todd. Witnesses say U-Haul swerved down Jasper with at least 15 police cars in pursuit, turned down 107th Street, reports of shot fired by police. Witness Brian McNeil told CBC he was with, he was with a group of friends in Boston Plaza at 106th Street when the van tore past on the wrong side of the street pursued by police. That high-speed chase should have never, in a, ever in a million years have happened downtown. He told the station, if you've got 20 cops chasing one guy and there's pedestrians that are walking down this road, the suspect was injured but not critically, Neekt said.